what's going on welcome back to collecting 101 in today's episode we're going to talk about a staple in kitchens all over the world salt and pepper shakers we're going to talk about the history the popularity and the value of your salt and pepper shakers so let's start off this video today with history all right so let's start off by talking about salt now salt has almost always been a part of western cooking now, it was really exclusive to inside the kitchen until the 17th century when families started using salt cellars, which were small dishes that they'd put on their table and they'd use little tiny spoons to take salt and put it on their food. Now, pepper started becoming salt's partner. Now, when did that happen? Now, this is just a little, uh, you know, maybe a folk tale, but I'm taking this true because the story to me means everything. So, they say King Louis XIV couldn't stand spicy food. And so, he decreed that only salt and pepper can be used at the table. So, that was when, you know, salt and pepper became the partners they are today. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true, but man, how great of a story is that? That one person can dictate pretty much, you know, a, a revolution of, you know, what you put on your food, which is salt and pepper. I mean, that's usually a staple in every household. You know, you're not asking for paprika on everything. You're like, oh, hand me the salt or hand me the pepper. And one person, you know, dictating that to a whole, you know, country and then pretty much to the whole world now. I mean, because salt and pepper is such a staple in people's tables. I think that's just amazing. So that is the story I'm going to go with. Now that salt and pepper are the team we know of today, there was a big issue salt coys was clumping inside of the salt cellars so by the 1920s the morton salt company came up with this amazing invention known as the shaker now they obviously would use this because you just shake the you know the shake the shaker <laughs> and you know the clumps would go away and you could use the salt so then the salt and pepper shaker came to be now after the great depression ceramic companies hopped on board and started producing these salt and pepper shakers now they did this because they were cheap to make you could sell them for a low price, as well as they were a, as a high demand for them because so many people around the country and world were using it. I mean, when you have that kind of demand, of course you're going to hop on board. I mean, what a great business decision. Now, as other ceramic companies hopped on board, they started making these unique designs that, you know, tried to trigger the interest of customers. So you started seeing animals and uh, buildings and, you know, all these many different things you could come up with to make into a salt and pepper shaker. In the late 1940s, salt and pepper shakers became the souvenir of choice anytime you were going out on vacation. So if you were to go to see the Eiffel Tower, guess what? You were going to come home with an Eiffel Tower salt and pepper shaker. Now Hollywood got on board as well and you started seeing celebrities as well as sports and sporting stars donning their images on salt and pepper shakers. Now other companies got on board right away as well. You started seeing Napco, Fenton, McCoy, and Milk Glass hop on board and started producing their own versions of salt and pepper shakers. Now we're moving into the 1950s. In the 1950s, seen a huge surge in cartoon characters. So guess what you were seeing on your salt and pepper shakers? That's right, more cartoon characters. Spread it all over the salt and pepper shakers and it was a great hit with the whole family, especially the kids. Now, the 1960s seen the donning of plastic. You've seen a lot more plastic being used instead of metal or ceramic. So, it's plastic, you started to see a lot more of those kind of salt and pepper shakers, especially at restaurants, you know, and even in households as well. Now, let's jump all the way to now. I mean, salt and pepper shakers are still widely used all over the world today. I mean, to start off with such humble beginnings of just little salt cellars to season your food or to even preserve your food back in the day, to something now where people use it as a decoration piece in their home, you know, where people have massive amounts of collections of salt and pepper shakers from all over the world. I mean, it's quite an amazing thing that people are starting to collect. And with so many unique pieces here, I'm gonna show you guys, especially in the popularity section, don't be surprised if you start getting a little itch to start collecting some of these salt and pepper shakers because they're really cool. So let's hop on to the popularity section now. All right, in our popularity section today, we're going to touch base on popular companies that produce salt and pepper shakers, popular styles and types of salt and pepper shakers, as well as celebrities that don their faces on salt and pepper shakers. Now, celebrities part is to me is the best part because there are some really unique ones and funny ones out there that I definitely know you guys will enjoy. Now, the first we're gonna talk about is the popular companies. Now, once salt and pepper shakers took off, you knew it wasn't gonna be far behind before these really good quality glass and uh, ceramic companies started producing their own versions. Now, the first one we're gonna show you is Fenton. 
Now you guys know Fenton is a really high-end glass company that produces really great pieces. And that's exactly what they did with their salt and pepper shakers. It's definitely something that collectors are very much sought or seeking today when they're on the market. Now the next one we're gonna talk about is another great quality ceramics company and that's, that's McCoy. Now McCoy produced different types and styles of salt and pepper shakers that are highly sought after by collectors because um, for one, the quality, but as well as uniqueness they made, I mean, it was definitely something that was really looking for, I mean, a lot of people are really out there looking for. Now the next one we're gonna talk about is gonna be a collecting 101 video soon, which is Fiesta Wear. Now Fiesta Wear is a largely you know, popular thing that people are out there collecting. Now it's a glad, it's a ceramic company, but it's uh, they produce plates, bowls, you know, all that kind of stuff as well. So uh, salt and pepper shakers obviously are going to be on their list of something they produce. So these are definitely ones that collectors are out there looking for, especially for Fiesta Works. I know there is a very niche group of people that collect Fiesta Wear, and I know these are, you know, we we sell them all the time at the store. Whenever I come across them, I always pick them up. All right, and then the last one we're gonna talk about today is Carnival Glass. Now, you know me, Carnival Glass is one of my favorite glasses just because of that look, that gleam, that, sure, uh, that sure, or sheen, I guess is the best way to put it. I just absolutely love Carnival Glass. So you knew they were gonna hop on board and start producing their versions of salt and pepper shakers as well. And as you guys can see, these are some of the most beautiful pieces of salt and pepper shakers out there, in my opinion, just because of that look. That Carnival Glass look is, you know, it's, it's really, you know, hard to beat. All right, so next up is going to be popular styles and types of, of salt and pepper shakers. So let's start off with food. I mean, food is, you know, universal with salt and pepper shakers. So you'll see corn, tomatoes, pieces of pizza. I mean, you really can pick it and it's going to be there. And that's the best part about salt and pepper shakers is there's so many different arrays of categories you can go into to collect. So it really makes collecting these really awesome because there's so many things out there you can collect. Um, next we're going to show you is transportation. So you got cars, trucks, airplanes, buses. I mean, pick something that moves with an engine and it definitely is made into a salt and pepper shaker. Um, I mean, you're looking at wagons. I mean, I, mean, I could go on and on. But there's so many different things out there for transportation because obviously, again, people collect that stuff. People collect cars, people collect trucks. I and mean, why not add that to the salt and pepper shaker, you know, the whole umbrella of things that they made. So definitely transportation is something that, again, a lot of people out there are looking for. All right, so next up we're going to talk about is animals. Now, animals to me is always the funnest part of, you know, any kind of collection, even if it's glass, ceramics, salt and pepper shakers, whatever it is. Now, when it comes to animals, obviously you can pick your animals. Sharks, donkeys, elephants. There's so many great salt and pepper shakers out there for these animals that you guys are going to see so many pictures of these because I think they're absolutely cool. So, uh, again, something very easy. A lot of people collect it. You know, if you're looking at farm animals, African animals, uh, reptiles, whatever it is, there's always a collectors out there for them. And, again, salt and pepper shakers were no different than anything else, hopping on board and producing all these as well. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is people. I mean, this is pretty easy. You know, when I talk about this being a great thing to collect because you can literally buy you know, these as gifts for anybody. So if you have a teacher in the family, guess what? There's teacher salt and pepper shakers. There's construction worker salt and pepper shakers. Doctor salt and pepper shakers. I mean, any kind of people you could think of, that's what these are made out of. Again, I'm going to just, I'm going to be a broken record on this, guys, because there, anything you want to collect with salt and pepper shakers is going to be made, you know, there's something made for it. You know, if you're into sports or sports, I mean, when even, like I said, when we're talking about people, I mean, there's football players, basketball players. I mean, pick a, pick something you're into and I guarantee there's a salt and pepper shaker for it. Now this last little category is kind of the hodgepodge of the rest of it. Now I want to show some like more unique styles and more unique salt and pepper shakers that are out there that you guys probably wouldn't even think are a salt and pepper shaker. So give me a couple seconds to show you guys a few pictures and a few of these salt and pepper shakers that are just so crazy you wouldn't even think they're salt and pepper shakers. So enjoy these last few ones. All right. Then the last category we're going to talk about today is celebrity salt and pepper shakers. Now, to me, there's so many celebrities I would love you guys to look up because, I mean, obviously you guys are watching all over the world. So celebrity to me, you guys might even not know these people. But um, if not, like I said, definitely look up some of yours and add them in the comment section so I can look up some of these too because I think these are just really funny and cool to look at. So uh, first one we're going to talk about is The Simpsons. Simpsons became popular in the 1980s. Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, Maggie. I mean, I can go on and on, but they had obviously their own versions of salt and pepper shakers that are you know quite collectible for the you know cartoons plus you know salt and pepper shaker collectors uh next up is the queen of england uh, again for my you know people that are watching over the pond i mean there's something right there too that's 
kind of connects us together. Again, a pretty funny photo and, you know, something that put on a salt and pepper shaker always seems funny to me. But uh, the next up is Marilyn Monroe, super huge, popular, you know, actress and uh, pretty much just a model, you know, back in the 1950s and 60s, I believe. Again, still very collectible today. We sell Marilyn Monroe stuff all the time and from statues to posters to anything. Anything her is such a collectible item nowadays. Uh, next up is Star Trek. Again, I'm pretty sure Star Trek is a worldwide phenomenon, and that's another thing that salt and pepper shakers are for. Uh, Elvis. Elvis, come on, are you guys kidding me? Elvis, a worldwide celebrity. That, of course, are salt and pepper shakers for him. Any and every stance, I'm sure. You know, anything he did was immortalized into something between salt and pepper shakers, pens, you know, books, plates, anything. Pick something and that guarantee Elvis has something for it. Then the last one I'm going to show you is probably something a worldwide audience maybe not know. Salt and Pepper was a rap group <laughs> back in the day, these two girls. And actually Salt and Pepper have their own Salt and Pepper shaker. So I thought that was kind of funny. The last one I want to show you guys was kind of funny. And then the last thing I, that's a, you know, then the last thing I want to show you guys is pretty much like, you know, just the rest of them. I mean, I, I don't, I can see her name and name and names and names and names, but this was just a bunch of different <clears throat> excuse me, a bunch of different celebrities that have donned their faces on salt pepper shaker. So enjoy this last little bit. All right, guys, that's the popularity section. I mean, there's so many uh, salt and pepper shakers out there for you guys to collect. I could have touched base and kept you guys here for hours showing you so many different unique salt and pepper shakers that are out there. But I want to give you guys a little taste to see if you guys liked it enough to go out there and do it on your own and check out all these really great salt and pepper shakers out there. So, all right, let's hop on to the value section of this video. All right, so let's tackle the value of salt and pepper shakers. Now, you know me, it always starts with condition. And again, we've been doing so many ceramic and glass ones, it's all the same, guys. No chips, no cracks, no repairs. The only addition I'll add is you're going to want a complete set. Don't give me the salt without the pepper, okay? So you want them both together. If you only have one, the value is shattered. So definitely you want to have both of them. Now, how do you identify your salt and pepper shakers? My best bet is to do a Google image. If there's no markings on it, do a Google search. Try to find ones exactly like yours and do your search that way. There's tons of them out there, and I think you'll be able to find that, you know, if somebody else has some information that you definitely could use. So just type in what you have. If you can't find the exact ones, maybe even try, you know, guidebooks. I know there's uh, so many different salt and pepper shakers on there, so it might be tough if you can't find that Google image of your salt and pepper shaker, but that is going to be my best advice for you is to do those Google searches or eBay searches. That's going to give you your best understanding of what you have. Um, and then if you're looking for a monetary value, hop on eBay. You know, do those eBay sold listing searches. That's going to give you a good rundown of what you should be paying for your salt and pepper shakers. And let's stay with monetary value. Mike, how much is my salt and pepper, or pepper shakers worth? Uh, most of the time, you're going to pay anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars for your salt and pepper shakers. I would say that's probably going to be ninety percent of the amount of money you're going to pay for your salt and pepper shakers is that dollar to ten dollars. Now, anything more than that, I mean, you could end up paying six hundred plus dollars sometimes, depending on the style. You know, if it's a sterling silver, or if it's one of these higher end, you know, companies that produce salt and pepper shakers, you could pay a lot of money for salt and pepper shakers. Don't get me wrong, but ninety percent of the stuff you're going to find is in that dollar to ten dollar range. You know, maybe, you know, 8% of it's in that 10 to $30 range. And there's only a couple percentage you're going to be paying a lot more than that. So definitely want to keep that in mind that this is a very great thing to start collecting because the prices are very cheap. All right, you guys know this. It's my favorite part of the video. The top three most expensive salt and pepper shakers out there today. Or at least the ones that I've sold. All right, so number three on the list is a Left On Pink Poodle Chef salt and pepper shaker set that sold for $425. Number two is a sterling silver salt and pepper shaker shaker set that sold for over $500. And then the number one most expensive sold salt and pepper shaker is the vintage gas pump salt and pepper shakers that sold for over $700. Now, I also seen one on there that had a multiple sets of the salt and pepper shakers, the gas pump ones, and they sold for a lot more than that, but I kind of wanted to keep it to the singular thing they sold for to give you guys a good understanding of what some of these can sell for. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy prices. But again, I'm going to show you some other eBay listings here, guys. There is a lot of salt and pepper shakers out there that you can purchase for way cheaper prices than, you know, six, $700. I mean, 
90% of the stuff you're going to buy is going to be in that dollar to ten dollar range. So I mean, don't get too afraid, you know, scared about everything else. So um, again, let's do a big rundown of this, guys. I mean, salt and pepper shakers are an amazing thing to start collecting. For one, it's always fairly cheap to start collecting these. So you're not throwing out $40 to $50 per set. You're most likely going to throw out anywhere from $4 to $8 per set. I mean, it's a great thing to get into because it's so cheap to get into. Now, the only negative about that is I don't see the values going up a ton with salt and pepper shakers. Now, again, if you're talking about you know, certain glass companies or certain ceramic companies, yeah, you might get a little tick up in price here and there, but you're not going to see something go from $5 to $500 very often in this, in this category of collecting. Now, if you really want to get into something that's going to start, you know, being very popular to collect, especially salt and pepper shakers, go to stuff that's getting canceled nowadays. You know, the Black Americana, the um, uh, Dr. Seuss, you know, kind of stuff like that that people are kind of throwing away and sending off to the side. Those are things that will always be collectible just because the less of something, obviously, is the more sought after. So, again, if you're really looking into getting into it for a value standpoint, those kind of things would be the things you want to look for. Things that people are you know, either frown upon or looking away from, those are the things you might want to start collecting. But yeah, guys, like I said, you know, I think salt and pepper shakers would be an amazing thing for anybody to get into just because of the massive amounts of categories you can touch base on. We touch base on just only four or five of them in our popularity section. I mean, there's so many more. That's why, you know, some of these collections look so amazing because it's not just one category you can collect. You can collect hundreds of different categories, different styles, different companies, I mean, it's really a great thing to get into. So, so yeah, my recommendation is if you want to start collecting something that's, you know, cheap and easy to get into, salt and pepper shakers would definitely be your thing. All right, guys, that's it for today. That's our collecting video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to smash that like button, comment below your history with salt and pepper shakers. Did your grandma collect them? Mom and dad collect them? Do you collect them? Everybody uses them. So, I mean, obviously somebody has some kind of story with a salt and pepper shaker. So, yeah, let's throw it in the comment section. What did I miss out on? Did I miss out anything that I should have, you know, harped on a little more? Throw it in there and let's help everybody out. And if you're into salt and pepper shakers, you know, even help us out more and let us know what we should be looking for. And then of course, if you got some time and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. And then next week, we're going to touch on Flow Blue China. So that is our Collecting 101 video next week, and it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. And you guys know me, when I always start talking about collecting, it's always about your memories over money. See you guys later.